episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, M-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What up, Joni? Where's your Grammy, dude? Where's my... <laughs> My Grammy, I like that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I got Vandross in here doing the podcast with me. Oh, okay. Jonas coming out the gate hot today. I like it. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for joining us. Me and Luther, we just we're here hanging out doing the Crazy Town podcast. (laughs) You should have called me Prince. (laughs) (laughs) Prince, What? You say don't call you Prince? (laughs) No, you could have. That would be fine. Not R. Uh, Kelly though. uh, (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> Whether you're watching us on our uh, YouTube channel at Crazy Time Media, make sure you subscribe there or Spotify or iTunes. You know, subscribe for us, our voice version. That's what you're listening to. This guy, he does, he's a tweaker on Twitch. Yeah, and if you want to come and hang out with TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every day at 10 o'clock. That's TNT, D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. And then sometimes he'll show up early, folks. Bonus TNT time! <laughs> Bonus time with your T out. <laughs> Hi T with T. Hi T. Oh, <laughs> there you go, dude. Oh, I like that. Hi T with T, dude. I like that. All you're gonna do is talk about tea. steak and sports and sweating. Hi T with T. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a Kentucky Fried Chicken in your life? I mean, yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. I've done that before. You ever had a double down? <laughs> Dude. Did you have I the think, double down? I think I had one one time. Okay. All right. I was going to say, motherfucker, if you ain't had a double down, I've had a double down. Yeah. Like, it was when I lived in Ohio in Youngstown. And I think one day, like, I went through. I'm like, you know, I can't live my life and not know what a double down is like. I mean, it was it was you, a meme. It was basically a cheese and bacon sandwich with chicken bun. Yes. <laughs> That's essentially yes. what it was. For, yeah, so for those people that don't realize like the the lore that is the double down, it was basically the equivalent to uh the chicken sandwich at Popeyes, like when that first came out. Like it was like the double down. But I guess people kind of made fun of it because it would look so unhealthy. It was ju- yeah, they wrapped it in some wax paper and just like said, Here you go, motherfucker. Here's <laughs> this like two boneless chicken breasts with like cheese and bacon in, on them in between and the, it. And that's it, dude. It was it was when the, it was when the Atkins craze first started. Oh, that's yeah, why they that that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, we got it. We'll just give you two two chicken breasts, dude, with a bacon and cheese center, dude. All right, Jonas. I know it's been a long time. Rate the double down on a scale of one to ten. I don't 10. even remember what it tasted like. Probably I, tasted, I only I ate know. once. So I probably tasted like ass. Dude, rate it, dude. Rate your experience. If it was that forgettable, it's gonna be low. Yeah, dude, a four. A four. I guess. I don't know, okay. dude. I mean, I didn't eat more than one. If I would have liked it, dude, I had one breakfast Baconator from Wendy's, and I want to eat them all the time. <laughs> so if it was that good, I would have eaten them many, many double downs. I can, no, I can understand, because I can remember buying the double down. I remember unwrapping it in my car. I remember <laughs> looking at it, taking a picture, sending it to somebody, but I don't remember the experience of actually eating it. So yeah, I'm going to give it about a, a four yeah, as well. Because I think they had the grilled version and the fried version. Because I think you get two grilled chicken breasts. Yeah, and you're nuts if you did that. I don't remember, dude. Yeah. I don't like I don't like uh, fried chicken breasts from restaurants very much. Oh, you got the grilled one. I probably got the regular, dude. I probably got the fried. I oh, want okay. the real experience, dude. Yeah. I can't judge. <laughs> I can't judge them. You can, man. I'm gonna you gotta... go. I'm gonna go to Chick Fil A and have them make me a double down. No. Oh. Okay. I'm going to be like, look, I want two sandwiches. Leave those fucking buns off. Yeah. You got some cheese and bacon in that bitch? Slap it together. Make me a KFC <laughs> double down like it's 28, 2008 right now. And they'll be like, excuse me, sir. We can't sell their product. I'm like, you're selling me what I want. I'm your customer. There you go, Jonas. You got to demand what you want. You yeah, want dude. You that's, how you want, that's how you get it. Well, back in the day, they used to be called Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kenny Kings? Sure. No? Well, they used to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kenny Kings, I think, was something different. Oh, okay. I I get what you're saying. KFC is what you're talking about. And then they had to change to KFC because I think they said that they they weren't selling real chicken. See, and I heard that that was all bullshit. They were just like in a time where we're talking about MP3s and... And uh, CDs uh-huh. and everything's kind of just like yeah, because and- it was like the, r- the rumor was that they were growing lab <laughs> lab chickens. <laughs> that was the rumor, but the truth was that they were like it's just more trendy to be called KFC. Right. It, well, yeah. If you like go to the store and get me some Kentucky Fried Chicken, and he said, "Go give me some KFC." Exactly. Well. Funny that you mentioned the lab-grown chicken because that is a real thing now. I, I didn't mention lab-grown chicken, but yeah, of course. 
Yeah, okay, so lab-grown chickens and... So, uh, KFC is working with a Russian 3D <laughs> bioprinting company. Shut the fuck up. So they can print chicken meat. Why? I mean... It's going to use chicken cells and plant material. <gasps> oh, it's... And they're going to make uh, printable chicken nuggets. And they're going to start selling them in Rush in Moscow oh. this fall. Cruelty free, right? Cruelty free, dude. Yo, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be uh, in the shape of chickens, and some are gonna be in the shape of cages, and some. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but there's no chicken cages at all. They'd be like little microscopes and petri dishes. Yeah, dude, it's just gonna be like yeah, it's just gonna be it's gonna be all chicken heads. They're all just gonna be shaped. Honestly, like chicken. honestly, Jonas, I don't know how you feel about this. Uh, I can give my hot take on it real quick. Oh, I'll, I'll give mine when you're done. All right, fine. Um, my take on this is that I think it's a wonderful idea because when it comes down to it, everything, every resource on this planet is finite. So it only makes sense for us to start creating our own food through science. Yeah, that's that is our way of basically being keeping up, being above the uh, the natural order of the food chain. We're above the animals because we have the ability to reason and we have yeah, the ability I mean, we to apply these that chicken meat. cells. Um, to, with plants, yeah, but uh, like way less chickens, way less chicken cells, I would think as well, because like you're gonna use some cells, but it's not like okay. So the difference between using a couple cells to make a piece of chicken or just using an, all the chicken cells and eating it. So I'm thinking, if yeah, it's probably just some blood to be honest, yeah. plasma or some shit. And then we've seen we've seen them talk about like this lab grown meat before, um, but oh, it was yeah. usually like with beef. And we know about, like, how they can make just, like, plant material yeah. taste like meat. Yeah, well, I've always thought it was weird when I would be like, man, I ate 20 chicken wings. That's, like, 10 full chickens I ate. Right. You know, because, like, there's two parts to every wing. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I'm like, damn, that's 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 crazy. <laughs> But it has not, that st it has not stopped me from eating chicken wings. You literally just killed like five chickens. Yeah, but you know what? Them thighs went to somebody else. Them breasts went to somebody else. I just yeah. ate the wings. Oh, so you're just taking partial ownership in the murder. Yeah, dude, right? You know, it's like if you kill a deer and you give some of that deer steak to your brother, yeah, he's, yeah, he's partially like, liable for killing that deer. He, he's culpable for crimes yeah, co committed. He's eating, he's eating deer sausage for breakfast, dude, and fucking he's... So you're an accomplice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. And my hot take on what I think about this... How do you feel about it, John? ...is I couldn't care less, because I'm not fucking eating KFC ever again, probably, because I don't like it. Okay, but still, I mean, we're not even... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so short? That's short sighted, Jonas. We're talking about the premise of them lab creating meat. It, it, How only, do you feel about the, the lab created meat? It does it have less calories? What the fuck? Not Jonas. What, what does it matter? Because if it has less calories, I'm on board. Does it have a natural. Do you feel naturally of natural aversion to it? Is what we're talking about. How do you feel about the meat? I don't fucking care about the caloric content. I do. Oh, okay, so. Let's just say all things are equal. It tastes just as fine. It has the same amount of if calories. There's no difference. Then I'll probably eat the plant chicken. But you know, there's a difference. I eat those fucking hey, man, chicken nuggets. Well, if anything, to be less calories. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know, dude. Them plant burgers have just about as many calories as a real burger. Still uh, fat in them. If they made some fucking plant chicken wings that tasted just like real chicken, or some plant bacon, boy. <laughs> Ooh, give me some 20 calorie bacon, dude. I mean, yeah. Even though, I don't know, Jonas, you know, turkey bacon just don't cut it. And vegan bacon is just not even good. If they can make it, if they use, can use some pork cells and some plant, dude, and print out some motherfucking bacon. It's never quite going to be like like home, Jonas. It's never going to be the same, right? <laughs> it's not like you're taking it straight off the razor back. Yeah. There's something about animal flesh that we've just, it's been in our, our, uh, are on our palates for so long over yeah, so dude. many centuries is that we just we have a taste for it. Yeah, but you know what? It's just like anything else. Though. If you stop eating it and then go back and eat it later, it doesn't taste good. Yeah, that's true. Because like if you eat if you eat tons of fast food, it always tastes great. And then you stop for like say three four months, don't eat any, eat at home, then go get like a big ass Wendy's double cheeseburger. This guy tastes like shit, dude. Taco Bell, dude. Okay. <laughs> That's the one exception to everything because it, it, it they put some fucking crack in there, dude. It's 
see if they're putting actual methamphetamines into your food. That's different. That's right. the methamphetamines that I'm liking. Not right, the- exactly. Do they do they, there's something in it. You you know. You agree there is I something do. in that fucking Taco Bell. Dude, I can't eat. I know people are looking at us like Taco Bell is disgusting. Nobody knows why they like it. A lot of people think it's disgusting. They're wrong. I mean, I agree. <laughs> it's so bad. It's gross, but it's great. Oh, dude, it's really good. <laughs> it's so much, I'm but I love it so definitely much. Definitely going there after this. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Probably. Dude, go get a grilled cheese burrito. I'll get you one, fam. You. <laughs> I'm I'm full, dude. I, got, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't need one. It won't stop me from renting you one. <laughs> no, just like I'll <laughs> put it in front of my face. All right, man. People out here fucking. <laughs> you telling me? <laughs> God damn it, John. Sometimes you talk some real shit on I this know, fucking dude. podcast. Um, there is a consensus, maybe consensus is not the word I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. There is a, they are starting to speculate uh-huh. that by 2100, which is what, like 80 years from now, sure, that t- 23 nations will, their populations will be half of what they are today. Because like the number of kids per woman is dropping. Yes, yes, 100%. Yeah, it said in 1950, the average woman was having 4.7 kids mm-hmm. across the entire planet, mm-hmm. not just in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And then it says, uh, like, in, in 2017, it was 2.4. And they said by 2100 at this rate, it's going to be 1.7. And it said any number under 2.1, mm-hmm. the population will start declining. Yep. <clears throat> because you're not, you know, if, if there's two women for every, for two, two new humans for every one woman, mm-hmm. you're basically doing a one for one almost because there's, you know, men can't produce a baby yeah, by themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, they're saying that they, they feel the world's population will peak at 9.7 and then fall down to 8.8 billion by 2100. I could definitely see that. That's what we've been trending to for a long time with, uh, with some of the laws that they had in China about having like, like your one first, kid. Yeah, or and that's because they were having too many people. They've actually been kind of rolling back some of those. Uh, well, yeah, they held that for so long. Their population was dropping. Yeah. So they've been rolling back some of, some of that. I think pro- now they can have two kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it was one forever. <clears throat> and yeah. uh, funny enough, Jonas, um, I remember this from school, but this was the ideals of... Uh, like some of our quote unquote forefathers back when they wanted to deny women some of their rights. Okay. Is like uh if women weren't at home having children, it was a detriment to humankind as a whole. I don't hold those same ideals, but this is kind of like what happens when women are out there doing their shit. It and is, they should be. It is funny that you mention that mm-hmm. because the exact reason they cite this happening is women are seeking education, they're seeking to work, they're seek in contraception advances. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah, but yeah, yeah. the women are seeking higher education and more work over having children. Yep. And which is fine. Do your thing with ladies, you know what I mean? But like but that's the exact reason they cite of why <clears throat> um why there won't be Well, yeah, and contraception's a huge thing too because back back in 1800, dude, you if you were fucking if you didn't pull out there you go baby you know what i mean like and and honestly like while that that's a large number you're talking about like a billion yes less humans and that's that's kind of crazy but i don't know if it's necessarily like detriment like we're not we're too big to fail at this point i mean unless the planet takes us out oh yeah 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 i don't think it'll be well you know do to be completely honest the planet the planet wouldn't be bad off if there was only five billion people on the planet you know what i mean like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it would it would help it would reduce emissions it would reduce all this you know all these things because there'd be less bodies doing everything yeah yeah uh but what they said in this article uh japan italy spain and north and south korea would probably half their population these are like the main uh countries uh china would go from 1.4 billion to about 730 million Damn. And at that point, India would become the most populous country in the world instead of China. Oh. And then uh, the U.S., they say, would they think that they're going to, the U.S. will peak at 75 million people 
in 2063, and then by 2100, we'll have 71 million people. Yeah, I can see that. Because we, we, still, we'll, we still have babies here. And I don't really understand uh, <laughs> or know about, like, how different cultures view, like, relationships and women working and marriage and all those things. But those are definitely dying institutes over here when you're talking about uh, – Long-term relationships are down, marriages are down, women having children are down, and there's just, like, more of an idea of, like, we can be independent, and, and f- absolutely. Right. But it does kind of fall on the woman's shoulders on whether or not we're going to have 71 million billion or if we're going to have right, 71 right, right, million right. or less. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, because it's ultimately, like, a man cannot produce a baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, so... Yeah. um yeah, dude, it's, I mean, I mean, we ain't going to be allowed to see that ish, so don't remember really <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's in 80 years, motherfucker, I'm dead. <laughs> I will be so dead then, oh my God. I, just, I do think it's beautiful the way that, uh, that society and just humankind goes over, man, just like us as a species. I like watching us change, I do. I, I, get, a, I get a kick out of it. Yeah, dude, it's interesting. It's, I really do. It's definitely interesting, um... I'm interested. What I'm honestly interested to th- to see is how, um, as like as the situation we're in evolves and get, goes through and runs its course, how humankind changes from when that's over, because it's like people are like you, the longer people go avoiding other humans, mm, and then like it's only gonna <laughs> it's gonna become normal. Potentiate the situation, right, right? Right. So like, say this goes on for another year. At the end of that year, they're like, "Okay, you can go do whatever you want." And everyone's like, "No, nah, dude, I'm good. I'm just gonna stay home. I don't like people anymore." <laughs> if you if you want to know about like kind of where this could go, there is a syndrome. I can't remember the exact name because it's in a different language, but it's in Japan where a lot of people, a lot of young men, spend so much time in their homes, uh, isolated, that they were they're having issues with population growth because just everybody stays home. And uh, there's like a type of depression that comes from it that a lot of young men were having. And obviously suicide was uh, an issue that they were having as well. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to look it up. Uh, But if you look towards the West, you can see some of the issues that do occur with like just people isolating themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. To the degree that we are. I was talking to somebody um, today actually about. It's it's interesting because like essentially what the whole world's going through mm-hmm. is a is a giant traumatic event. Oh yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, and when you in like instead of it being like a lot of times a traumatic incident is is <clears throat> one incident. It happens. It's it's an event. It happens, or maybe you know there are other traumatic things that are extended. No, this is prolonged. So this is a long trauma. If you're going through a single event trauma, it's hard for you to like fully understand what you're going through until it's over. Yeah. Because you're coping, you're dealing, you're there. It's like when you're in a bad relationship and you get out of the relationship and you're like, wow, that was a really bad relationship. <laughs> but you don't realize at the time until you have time to process it. Yeah. So everyone's just kind of surviving right now. Like, oh, they're like, I feel okay, you know, whatever. Like, But when the whole event is over, then you're going to look back and be like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, but you know, but then it's not just you. It's not like <clears throat> you had a bad experience. It's the entire higher population of the whole world gets that chance to reflect on a trauma to get yeah. weird dude i think it's more or less the the fact that the whole world is currently going through it because like i feel like do you remember desert storm i remember it, what it was yeah all right so it's all about perspective because we don't remember desert storm because it was basically just something we saw on tv but the people who actually had bombs dropped in their fucking backyard or lost family members, right, right, right. they have a different relationship with it. Hiroshima, we know that we did it, but the people in Japan, a lot of their media still to this day is like uh, reminiscent of that event because it was so traumatic to their culture. Yeah, oh, That's our 9-11. That's so, the only incident besides 9-11 and Pearl Harbor that we, those are the two that we have that are big events for our country. That, I mean, you you make a valid point because nine eleven did change a lot of the way that we handle things, and it has robbed of us, robbed us. But of everyone a lot of our, else just saw it on TV. Robbed us of a lot of our uh, privacy as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, you're not wrong there. You know, it, those are event. Yeah, everybody's everybody's history is different. 
You know what I mean? Like what, depending what side you were on, like yeah. our history of world war two is way different than Germany's. <laughs> It's true. still way different than the UK's, and they were on our side. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, yeah. But like, this is like everybody's experiencing it kind of in the same way. Yeah, and it's like so. Then, but it's like you don't know what sort of long term f- fucked up shit's gonna happen to everybody. Like for emotional and mental, like health and shit. Like long term, it's, it's Who, definitely. It's not. I don't feel like it's an ELE. It's not an extinction level event, man. But you know, it yeah. it, it shows you that one of those could happen. And there ain't a lot of people to go talk to about what happened in the Spanish flu to see how people were after that was over. No, because there's like there's a handful of them alive that were alive then. Yeah. It's like, man, hey, what killed the dinosaurs? Right, exactly. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? Yeah, dude, it's, it's just interesting. Yeah, it's just interesting to see how uh, how things are going to progress. Um, you know, it's like, it's, well, it's just funny because things that were so common, like sporting events, concerts, <laughs> things like that. And it's like, people are going to be like, oh, you want me to go hang out with a bunch of people in a crowd and go watch <laughs> a live event? They're going to be like, can I just kind of watch it from TV? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, man. I and guess it, we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, it's interesting, dude. Yeah, and it's just funny. Like my mom was talking today, the liquor store delivers. Yeah, the one. So it's out like here. all these. It's changing commerce. It's changing. Yeah, the one out here does too. Do they? The liquor store. They offer me that H E B will deliver booze to my front door all the time. They're trying to get me drunk. I'm like, dude, I'm not that fucking texting. Yeah, they're I'm trying not. to. You know why they want you drunk? A sneak in your bedroom window, dude. What? Who? The H E B guy? The H yeah. E B delivery? The owner, dude. The <laughs> favor man? <laughs> That's what yeah, he's gonna do a favor for you. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, gonna freak freak it, dude. You got another one? Load it up. I mean, we you picked your cards up, we man. Don't have I just... a lot of time. I was trying to see if something could fit in. Yeah, well, yeah, fit something in, dude. I don't, uh oh. I've talked about this before, but I have an update. We talk about China. Uh, oh, can we talk about China? No go. China. China. Can we talk about China? China. Uh, they have started a way to limit minors playing video games. We talked about they were limiting microtransactions and they were going to be able to limit kids playing uh, how many hours a day they could play. And like they could play like 90 minutes during weekdays and like three hours on holidays, things like that. Mm. They're about to, they're about to introduce another f- a uh, facet to that where when you play online you have to use your real name no yeah 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 so yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you use your real name to sign in with like a user id yes. to talk about using facial recognition whatever but instead of being like tnt dynamite you're filling the blank with your name that is not my name my name is not phil <laughs> in the blank with your name um but, but like, dumbass. imagine if, but dude, imagine how less toxic the online community would be if you had to be accountable to who you were. How accountable are you, though? If it's your real fucking name and you're on there talking shit, hate speech, whatever, somebody could just look your ass up on the Chinese Facebook. All right, so I put fucking Leonard McKelvey up there. Then what? That's my real name, guys. <laughs> hey. It's <laughs> a good name, dude. But I put my real name, Leonard McKelvey. What are they gonna look me up? Yeah, but if but if you get if you get reported for being like whatever online, they know they can come directly to you. You would think that there's already some degree of connection with It's uh, China, dude. They coming to you, dude. They- <laughs> China, they're coming to you, dude. You know it's true, too. I mean, I understand, but I mean, there's already some degree of connection because, like, everything's connected to your cart. I don't know how China operates, man. They're communists, they're just, dude. What does that mean? They can no. kill you for whatever they want. Oh, that is not what communism is. <laughs> they're a dictatorship, dude. That is what they're closer to. They're but, communists, dude. But what I was saying is, like, how do you even know, like, you can go to Every, jail for saying you don't have freedom of speech over there. I'm not talking about the punishment. I'm talking about their degree of connection. My f- Xbox fucking gamer tag is connected to my credit card. Yeah. That has my real name. Right. But we Boom. have freedom of speech. We can say what we want. I mean, I understand that. Over there, you do what, not. But what does it help if I put my real name up there? It's just like it's like you're not hiding behind a persona. You're you're a real person. I mean, I I feel like it's more. That's more like a mental issue more than it is like. Oh yeah, the, I think it's more because like you thing. can call fucking Microsoft and be like TNT Dynamite was 
called me a, a homosexual. And then they're going to be like, oh, my God, TNT Dynamite. Oh, well, that's Leonard McKelvey. Let me send my officers over to but his house. But they don't do that because it's legal to say whatever you want here. I mean, I, yeah, that is true. Over there, they're like, this so, guy was talking shit about the president. They're like, we're going to lock him up. So you have Put an issue with them just, like, jumping in, in your house if you say some off shit? I mean, that's not freedom of speech, dude. That's fucked up. I mean, you got freedom of speech here, but you got to pay the consequences for what you say. Yeah, but you're not going to go to jail. You're not going to go to, like, a re-education camp or something. No, just for calling somebody a homosexual. Yeah, you could, like, but, like, over there, like, legitimately, you can talk shit on the president and get arrested. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, so, I mean, like, if you're online using hate speech. Yeah. And they're like, Lenard McKelvey's over here calling me a hate speech word. They're going to be like, oh, well, we were, they're probably recording all the conversations anyways. They're going to listen to it. They're going to grab you. They're going to put you in a re-education camp. And when you come out, you're going to love everybody. All right. Well, see, now, yeah, I don't know if I necessarily agree with, like, snatching people up and putting them in white vans in Portland and then just, like, taking them off. Yeah, dude. You, you know? know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, dude, exactly. So. I guess we don't want that here. Yeah, but, you know, that's what China's doing because they're communists, so... <laughs> Uh, but that is all time we have today's episode. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've already done that. He does switch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day, 10 o'clock Central. That's TNT D-I-N on my GHT underscore crazy team. Your boy for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Uh,